More than four years after APS teacher Ellen Roth was murdered and buried in the Hamas Mountains, there is finally some closure tonight for her family. A judge today accepted a guilty murder plea deal from her daughter-in-law. News 13's Gabrielle Burkhardt has that from the Newsplex. Gabby? Dick, it's a case that has dragged on and on for the victim's family, but today the last remaining suspect admitted she's guilty. Kathleen Roth in court again. Ms. Roth, how do you plead into second-degree murder of the lesser-included offense of count one? Conspiracy to commit a felony, that being first-degree murder. Is the charges go two. on. And larceny is charged in count 18. Guilty. I'll accept the plea and find the defendant guilty. Kathleen is now convicted of organizing her mother-in-law's murder after Ellen Roth accused her and her husband Brian of stealing her debit cards. Roth and two friends went through with the crime. Ellen was strangled in her own garage and then buried in the Hemez Mountains. She was missing for months. Kathleen Roth faces up to 37 and a half years with today's plea deal. Are you guys okay with this? Um, I think that um, getting an overall exposure to 37 and a half years um, is a really long time. Ideally, I'd like her to get first degree murder um, charges, but um, this is going to work. The victim's family says a trial would have dragged on the case even longer. They were against a previous attempt at a plea deal that came with 28 years prison time. Kathleen's co-conspirators have already been convicted in Ellen's murder. The victim's family says it's been a long journey to justice. We'll never be whole again. Every holiday my aunt's not there and there's things that will always make me think of her, but at least the court battle will be over finally. Now, under the agreement, the judge told Kathleen she'll have to provide a debriefing to APD concerning crimes against Ellen Roth to include any involvement Ellen's son, Brian, who was not charged in the crime, may have had. Back to you. Okay, Gabrielle, Brian Wheeler, or excuse me, Brian Roth was in jail when his mother was murdered, but if his wife does implicate him somehow, he could still be charged.